What's up Glammies? It's your girl Mandy Glam and I'm back with another video. But this time, it's a makeup tutorial. You guys have been asking me to do a makeup tutorial so here it is girl, here you go. I finally decided to record my first makeup tutorial for 2020 and y'all, I'ma just, I'ma let y'all know right up front, this video might be a little long. I will try my best to edit it to make it shorter, but I can't make no promises. No cap, this video might be really long. So if you're interested to see how I got this makeup look, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, you guys. You guys have asked for it, and here it is. This is going to be my first makeup video for 2020, and I'm really excited. So y'all gonna have to forgive me with the lighting and everything because I don't have all the box lighting and all that fancy stuff yet, but in time it will come. I'm being patient, okay? So I wanna do like a cute little sultry vibe makeup look something that i would probably wear on a date night so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna be working out of the um born to run um uh, eyeshadow palette by urban decay and so yeah let me start running my mouth child and get started on this video so um i always do my foundation before i do my eyeshadow i do my foundation my brows and then finish up on the face. Um, I am in love with this milk primer. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is put a little um, primer on. And I'm so in love with this foundation. I feel like it really um, helps my foundation to adhere to my skin and it doesn't separate. Um, at the end of the day, sorry if I keep looking over to the side because the camera is like blocking my mirror. So um, I have to look over there from time to time, but I'll use this mirror. But yeah, um, I love this um, primer because I have super oily skin and um, I noticed before I started using this primer that um, my makeup would separate, especially under my eyes, um, towards the end of the day. And I didn't like that, especially if I had somewhere to go afterwards. I'm going to put some of this on my lips because, ooh, my tea, my lips is dry. Dry, dry, dry. <coughs> Okay, so y'all, my staple foundation is um, Revlon Color Stay. I love Revlon Color Stay. This is in the shade Caramel 400, and I've been using it for years on years on years on years, and I just simply adore it. I'm using a little beauty uh, blender sponge that I got from um, TJ Maxx. I guess I'm running out, child. Ooh, good child. Um, okay, so I might end up using some Anastasia foundation because it looks like I'm out of the Revlon color stay. But I'm going to apply this. I like to uh, put some here, some here, here, and here. And I just like to start blending it in. I might put some Anastasia foundation on top of this because I'm out. And I do go towards my neck. Make sure y'all doing that. Y'all don't want to have any lines of demarcation. You know, your foundation needs to look as natural as possible. Okay. As natural as possible. I can't believe I'm out. But um, I love this foundation. I can't believe I'm out. Oh, 
here we go. Put a little bit more now. Um, yeah, so anyway, I want to just have a little chit chat with y'all. I know y'all know me as the perfume lady and that's kind of like what I've been doing for the past few months. But um, just to give y'all a little background on myself, my first love has always been makeup. I've always loved makeup. Um, I think I started wearing makeup when I was in 10th grade. My dad gave me the green light and baby, I was wearing a full face in high school. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was full face, honey. Foundation, the whole bit, okay? The whole, everything. Full face, full beat in 10th grade, no lie. Um, I, I'm not really happy with the coverage. I know that I have, my skin is pretty good and I don't need a lot of coverage, but I'm gonna go in a little bit with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation and C50, um, C and 450C. So I'm gonna put a little bit on here. Um, do y'all have this? I feel like I have trouble with this nozzle sometimes. Like it sticks or something. Um, so let me put a little over here, a little over here, some up here. And down here. Um, so yeah, my first love was makeup. I always wanted to do makeup. My lifelong dream was to be a Mac girl. I always wanted to be a Mac girl. That was like the only thing I lived for in life was to be a Mac girl. <laughs> and um I did apply to Mac a bunch of times and um, yeah, I like this foundation, it's really pretty. And I applied to Mac a bunch of times and I would never get a call back. And so I just stopped applying. And this was probably like in the early 2000s. I just stopped applying and I just gave up on it. I was just like, you know, whatever. It's not going to happen. And so um, I ended up going to school, pursuing a career in the medical field. And that's what I did forever. So now I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place concealer. Y'all, I love this concealer. Now that I'm in my 40s, I've noticed that I get these horrible bags under my eyes. Sometimes from lack of sleep or just age, allergies, whatever child, they, they're there. These folds and these creases. And I hate when my concealer, you know, settles in those creases. It just makes my makeup look awful so but i like the juvia's place i feel like it also um conceals some discoloration that i have going on under my eyes so i put some here here right here down the bridge of my nose and my chin um so back to my story so yeah um, I gave up on pursuing my makeup for a while. So I like to go in with my concealer and I like to go down, down towards my face. I love the way this concealer like brightens up my under eye area. It's just so pretty. Um, so yeah, I gave up on that and I just um, focused on working and then one year, probably in 2013, I decided to um, try to pursue makeup again. 
and I actually filled out an application at Mac and um I like to go around my mouth because I like this whole area to be bright. Um so I went ahead, um I went to the Galleria and I put in an application for Mac at the flagship store and believe it or not I got a call back <laughs> got a call back and um Mac just back then I don't know if they do it now but they make you go through so many hoops to get a job there it's just ridiculous to me like you know I guess they have their policies and the way they do things or whatever I, um, I guess every company does but it just seemed like overkill, you know? I hope my light is not too bright for y'all. Let me try to adjust my lighting. Okay, that might be a little bit better. So, anyway, don't come after me. I already told y'all I don't have the fancy lighting, but I still want to do makeup tutorial for y'all. So, don't be in my comments talking about, girl, you need to get you some lights. Whoop, I know. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, I got a call back and I went up there and I interviewed and, um, the manager there at the time, I don't know if she's still there. Um, girl, I'm just going to be honest. She had a stank attitude. <laughs> she really did. She was not very pleasant or warming or inviting or welcoming to me i don't know if that's just that was just her personality or if she just had an attitude but um so i'm gonna set my stuff with the um huda um beauty powder and this is in the shade blonde so i like to use a brush to set the set my did I say set my powder? I meant set my concealer. Anyway. I'm gonna set my um so I met with her and um she called me. She was like, We'll call you for a second interview and this time you have to bring a model with you. Okay, so I like to go in with this brush. This is a Morphe brush. And I like to I feel like it gets in the cracks right here to set my powder. So anyway, she did call me back. She called me back and I did go up there for the second interview and I brought my daughter with me. Oh no, no, what happened? Did I bring my daughter with me or my friend? I think I brought my my coworker from work, Wynn. Hey Wynn. Um, I brought Wynn with me and I feel like I did her makeup there um, cause you have to bring a model with you. So yeah, that's what they do. They make you bring a model with you and you apply makeup on the model and they are going to ask you to do the most difficult thing, which I think is a wing liner. I also go here with my forehead and press some of that powder. I like to press my powder in with the brush because I'm super oily y'all. Like I'm just oily. And I like to go here and I like to go down the bridge of my nose. I also press more powder in with a sponge. Um, I'll do that in a second. So I like to go here, bridge of my nose with the powder because I put highlight there. And um, so yeah. So yeah, I took my coworker Wynn with me. I did her makeup in front of the, the lady and um, I guess she liked it and she called me back and I went back up there the second time and I had to bring another person with me. So this time I bought my daughter. So this was a very inconvenient process, I, I feel, you know, because not only did I have to take off work and go up there, I had to ask somebody to come with me. Um, I just feel like that process is a is very inconveniencing. For me, it was for me, but 
Um, so I took my daughter and there was another person. Oh, sorry, my camera is like zooming out. There was another person. I know it looks really white right now, but trust me, it'll it will not stay that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my brows and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so y'all can see how I do my brow. I'm gonna do one brow and then I'm going to um, fast forward <laughs> with both brows done just so I can save battery life on my camera. So yeah, um, I like to use, this is a pencil by Rimmel. This is just a little $2 pencil that I bought from Walgreens. I usually use the, um, God, I can't think of it, Benefit Brow Pencil, but I ran out of it and I haven't went to Ulta to buy me anymore. So, your girl has been super lazy. So, I like to take this little um, brush and brush my little sparse hairs up, child. I got no hairs on my brows. Don't judge me. And I mark it out. I like to start right here and mark out my brow. And um, I end there. Okay. I will be cleaning this up. So I do draw big and then I clean it up. I feel like overdrawing it is better for me. Can y'all see that? It's better for me to overdraw and then clean it up with the concealer. Um, so that's what I do. So yeah, she did call me back and um, I took my daughter and we went up there and when I got there, there was a guy who was interviewing, I think, for the same position as me, right? And so I was shook. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't know this was going to happen today. And then to shake it up a little more, they made me and him switch people that we brought because he bought somebody and I bought my daughter and they made us switch. And they told us, so, you know, when you becoming a makeup artist the whole thing is about the client you know you're supposed to ask the client what they what look are they wanting to achieve what they want you know you have to get in tune with your client you just can't be slapping makeup on people because that's what you want to do no you have to talk to your client so they want to see that they want to see how you interact with your client um, you know, if you can cater to the needs of your client and what they want. And so I didn't know this girl from a can of paint, y'all. She's a pretty girl, though. I didn't know her from a can of paint. She didn't know me. So I just treated her as if I worked there already. And I was just like, you know, what look are you wanting to achieve today? You know, and she was like, I want something natural. You know, and I said, okay, so we had actually had to take them out to the floor to pick the colors and things like that. That was my nose each. So um, we took them out, we picked the colors, and we came back and we had to do the makeup look. And so not only on top of that, did we had to do the makeup look, we had to literally sell the product like we at the end of it all they want to sell you know what i'm saying they want to make money you know so and which is understandable their business so if just in case y'all was wondering what, what i'm using i'm using the anastasia beverly hills brow definer it's that that pencil that has a slant in it and this is in the color what color is this dark brown i love anastasia um eye products come on camera don't do this to me. there you go baby so um yeah so i did the makeup on her the eyeshadow everything she wanted i did it um it came out good and at the end of it all y'all peep this i made a 60 dollar sale for a mac for a company that wasn't even paying me they made almost a hundred dollars off of me. 
in that in that very moment of my interview process they made almost a hundred dollars off me i was <laughs> i said if i ain't got the job i don't know what the job is booked okay i got the job anyway i like to take the other half of this and i like to blur out the front oh no i don't i like to put some set some brow powder on there before i start blurring out the front so this is the anastasia brow powder this is in the shade um dark brown and so anyway we did that and um she bought the products and y'all i was so nervous that day i'm not even gonna lie to y'all like i was super nervous so I go over my brow with the powder just to set this pencil in because pencils on me <clears throat> after a while because I'm so oily they start to the oil starts to sink through and then I start to shine and it just looked like a, a ugly mess so um, anyway um, so I was nervous before I even got there extremely nervous like I was super nervous and so I had some gum in my mouth and I and me being a professional like I have a professional job and I know how to interview um I wasn't supposed to have gum in my mouth and I totally totally forgot okay not only that so so after the interview you know she took us to the side it was one manager for him one manager for me the lady that originally interviewed me took me to the side and she was just like oh come on she was just like you did really you did good and um but one thing that my other manager was so concerned about is that you you're wearing this bold eyeshadow you're wearing this bold eyeshadow with a bold lip I was like okay um that to them is a no-no at MAC you don't wear so y'all see how I'm like blurring out the front I do that for a reason and y'all about to see in a second so with MAC you don't do that you don't you don't wear a bold eyeshadow and a bold lip you do one or the other you do a bold eyeshadow and a, a neutral lip or a bold lip and a neutral eyeshadow well i didn't know that i always looked at mac as do what you like i always looked at mac as this you know company that accepted people the way they are like they're known for their outside of the box makeups or whatever so um so this is a my nose is really itching this is a pencil um no this is um this is not no pencil this is a liquid eyeliner that i use to create small little hairs on my brows so um i'm gonna do that and this is in the color brown and so I like to create these little hairs in my brows, y'all, because I don't have any hair in my brows. So I start right here and I make these little strokes. And so um, if I mess up, it's all good because I'm gonna clean it up anyway with the concealer. So that was one ding I got. The next ding I got was what she tell me? I was chewing gum. That was the next thing that I got. So I was chewing gum and my look was not appropriate. So, um, I ain't gonna lie. I was devastated. You know, not one time did she comment to me the good thing that I did? Like the lady, like I didn't know her, she was super happy with her look. And not only was she super happy, everything that I, when I took her out on the floor, everything that I recommended to her, she bought. And I feel like 
Criticism is good. I love constructive criticism. I'm not against that because you helping me. But I also believe in building people up. You know what I'm saying? Like telling them the good and the bad. Not not just where they messed up, but what they did good too. Girl, did you not see that I made y'all almost $100 up in here today? Like, did you not notice that? Girl. So I'm using um, Pinky Rose Concealer Palette. Um, and I like this palette because it's a cream palette and I feel like I have more control when it comes to cleaning up my brows. So I like to go under here and just create my brow shape and clean it up. So yeah, she told me that. She's like, well, we're gonna um, discuss it and we'll get back to you and let you know um, what we think or whatever. Too far. And so basically at this point it it's just a waiting game. And I didn't think I was like, well shit, I was chewing gum. I literally went home, y'all, and cried because I told y'all in the beginning of the video all I ever wanted to do was be a Mac girl. Like that's just all I ever wanted in life was to wear black, have the Mac chain and go in there and work with them girls and them guys. That's all I ever wanted to do in life was be a Mac girl. That's it. Nothing else mattered to me as far as career rise but being a Mac girl. And so um, I take my little concealer up here and then I come in and clean. So maybe like a few, three days went by and she ended up calling me and she was like, um, so yeah, you, you did good. Um, the only thing, you know, that they didn't like, like I told you, was the gum chewing and, um, and the way you wore your makeup. But she was like, um, I don't think you're going to be a good fit for this store because we are pretty fast over here. And, um, yeah, she was like, but... I'll put you in contact with um, the manager out in the Sugarland store, which was like 45 minutes from me, where I was living at the time. I was like, and I had a full-time job. So I was like, okay, well, thank you like that. And, and that was it. I never applied to Mac again. And um, that took a really big blow to my self-esteem because I felt like I put in a lot of effort, you know, to get my daughter there, to ask my friend who this girl had never, me and her shared a love for makeup, but she had never like let me put makeup on her. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I may be talking too much. I do not want this video to be that long. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up over here. Man, it's hard for me to do this. So yeah, that took a big blow to my self-esteem. And I just kind of like gave up on makeup. Um, well, becoming a makeup artist. I just felt like it wasn't in the cards for me. It's so difficult. Why is it so difficult? You know, if it's for me, I feel like it shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, I, I'm not trying to sound naive or dumb. And I know that um, in life you have to work to get to places that where you want to be. But I was like, God, this is just so difficult. Like, um, you know, there's no way... I'm going to be able to, I think my brows look pretty damn good. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to leave my job at 5 o'clock and get, drive 45 minutes in traffic. If you're from Houston, you know the traffic has gotten so bad over the years. Um, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to make it there in an hour to be, to work at 6. 
So I like to take a little brush, a little brush and blending in that concealer. So uh, yeah, I was devastated, I'm not gonna lie. Even thinking about it now, I'm like, damn, should I have just taken a job at MAC and just did my best and tried to transfer and I'll just do it, whatever, I don't know. That was years ago, I can't dwell on the past, I'm just sharing my story with y'all. Um, so I'm taking a little spoolie and I'm going to, actually I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go into my face. So I like to set my face with a little MAC um, skin skin finish because I feel like it helps to put that color back into my face where you know from the powder how the powder kind of makes you look made me look a little white I like to put that back into my face this video gonna be hella long I'm just telling y'all <laughs> I can't help it I'm gonna try my best. All right. So yeah, that took a blow to me and so after I got through licking my wounds, child, I went ahead and I was like, you know what, forget Mac. Um, okay, I'm going to bronze my face and I like to start here and I have a natural uh, area anyway that's kind of like dark y'all can see it right there so I just follow that groove okay and I just make a little stroke here and I like to go upward with my bronzer so like I said after I finished licking my wounds um I was like man there's been plenty of success successful makeup artists that never worked at MAC. I guess when I first started like watching YouTube tutorials, a lot of them girls worked at MAC or they worked at Sephora and um, I'm just going right up here with the bronzer. And I was like, I could just start doing YouTube tutorials. I'm gonna go here. And I like to go upward with my bronzer. And um, so yeah, so I did a little bit of freelance makeup artistry. You know, people will call me up to do their wedding and do their prom. And I did, of course, y'all know my muse is my daughter. Um, if y'all know me personally, y'all know that I'm always doing my daughter's makeup. Um... So yeah, I think that whole Mac situation, it just really kind of like hurt me a little bit, you know? And that manager was super rude. Like she just, I mean, she just had like a little, I don't know, she was like real uppity. I don't know, I don't know the girl. I don't know, she just gave me these vibes that I did not like and I felt like she was not the nicest person. I like to go under my jaw. Y'all know I love a good jaw definition, honey. Like, I like my shit. I like my stuff to cut. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I like to go under my jaw right here. And I love to have that definition right there. I love that definition. And I do go down with it. Down to my neck. Because I do not want that line of demarcation. I don't want nobody clunking me on my makeup, honey. So, yeah, that put a little... A damper on things. But, like I said, I was doing some freelance stuff and stuff like that. So, um, okay, let me put a little concealer on my eyes. So again, I'm working out of the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I like to put a little concealer on my eyelids. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna do one eye and then I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye. And then, um, cause I'm trying not to make this video super long. So yeah, that's my little makeup story, child. That's my little story, honey. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is the Weekender. And I'm gonna put this um, all over my eyelid. You can't even see this color on me. So yeah, like I was just freelancing and and then I just got to a point in my life where the next color I'm gonna go in with is right here, Riff. Let's see if I can get a little more color on this. Yeah. So yeah, that's my little makeup story, child. Um, makeup again has always been my first love. I mean, I know I wanted to do uh, have a like I've had my YouTube channel for a while, and it first started. My fir very first video was a makeup video um, that I did years ago, probably in 2014 or something like that. Um, and so I just I don't know. I don't know if I gave up on it too fast because I felt like things weren't lining up or what, but I don't know. I still, you know, now Mac has kind of went down. People really don't, you know, talk about Mac as much as they used to. Um. But I guess that just come with time, change, you know, the world changes, everything changes. You know, we got these indie companies now that are doing big things and they don't even have storefronts. <laughs> Can I figure that out? So, um, I'm, if you're wondering what brush I'm using, I'm using a Morphe uh, 453. Love Morphe. And now I'm using a Morphe brush. This does not have a number on it. So I'm going to go in with, oh, I don't know what color I'm gonna go in with. I don't wanna go in that, with that color. I'm gonna go in with this uh, Baja color, Baja, I think it's Baja. I'm gonna go in with that a little bit and then I'm going to focus it right here. And I like to come up here, right here where my, where my nose would start. And I'm not the best at blending shadows. Like, I'm, I know I'm not. So, and that's because I haven't been consistent. Like, I just stopped doing makeup, basically. And I only do it on myself, so. Don't come for me. Um, okay, I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna go in with Punk. Why would they name this color that? Right there. Urban Decay. Now y'all know better. So I'm gonna go in with this dark brown. And I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna I'm creating some definition, but I'm gonna go right here, go up with it. So like I told y'all, I like to create this look right there. This I don't know what kind of shape which you would call it, but I do like to go right up in here with it, and I like to cut right here. I like to kind of go up into my brow bone with it. And I just want a little bit more. 
and I'm using a very soft hand now. I'm not really like putting a lot of pressure on my brush. particular technique is just really what I like to do and I'm like I said I'm using a very soft hand um, yeah very soft hand this brush is a no-name brush I got this brush from TJ Maxx so I'm going to go back in with this color, The Weekender, and buff out um, this color up here at the top using a very soft hand. I don't want to be too harsh. 17 minutes. And yeah, I might go in with a little bit of the, I used the wrong brush. Go in with a little bit of the Baja right here. Can y'all see where I put that? And now I'm going to go in with a shimmer. So I need a flat brush. I need a flat brush. This is, I think this is a MAC brush, but I'm not going to wet it. I'm going to see how this looks on me without it being wet. I'm going in with Ignite, this color right here. And I'm just going to um, place that on the center of my alley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can work with that. And I'm just gonna go up with it. Oops, sorry, I wanna make sure y'all see. So I haven't mastered the skill of a cut crease yet. <laughs> um, that'll come in time, child. And I like this. I, I'm a fan of Urban Decay eyeshadows. I've always been for a long, long time. I think they're pretty. Can y'all see that? And I'm gonna go back in with the that dark color called Punk, which I feel like is so inappropriate. Um, and I'm gonna just go with a light hand. I'm gonna go right up in here and just kind of blend that out. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know um, if I want to pursue a career in makeup. I've kind of put, put that down. And I'm gonna go in with a clean fluffy brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Um, I do love makeup. It's always been a love of mine. I just love the colors. I love everything about it, about makeup. I think makeup is fabulous. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if I might go in a little bit more with this dark color just to give myself a little bit more depth this is a mac 217 y'all know this is a very popular brush honey everybody and their mama had a 217 and i i turn it to the side and i just go in here i'm 
focusing it right here. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's for fun now for me. You know, it's just something that I do for fun. You know, when I go out, I like to be done up, you know, with my makeup. But pursuing it as a something that I would do, um, freelancing, I don't know if I want to do that. And I think that shift to sale, I just can't imagine me being on my feet all day <clears throat> doing makeup. So... I'm going to do my nose contour so y'all can see um, how I do that. So I'm using just a um, beauty supply brand. This is Ruby Kisses. And I like to go in right here with my brush. And this is a no-name angle brush. And I like to drag it down right here. And I like to blend it out right there because I don't want any definition. Right there, but I'm gonna go in with this and just blend this out. Cause it looks kind of harsh. difference in my nose snatched immediately it snatched my nose immediately honey immediately instant nose snatched and I like to take a very um, dense brush and I like to blend my contour on my nose because I try not to be so obvious with my nose contour. Because people be trying to clock you. And okay, so now I've shown y'all one eye. I'm going to go offline, do the other eye, pop my lashes on, and I'll come back and I will finish my face. Okay, so I wanted to come back on right quick and I finished the other eye, I finished this eye and I just wanted to show you guys, I'm going to put on some wing liner um, with this look and I just want to do one eye on camera. This is um, the wing, this is the eyeliner, liquid eyeliner by NYX and um, I wanted to put that on one eye for you guys so y'all can see how I do my wing liner. I always start at the center of my eyelid and I go all the way out and then I come down here to the outer part of my eyelid and I meet it to make that point and I come back and just kind of clean it up a little bit. I am not the perfect person when it comes to wing liner at all. Fill it in.
Ooh. <laughs> I caught it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and fill that wing liner in a little bit more because I feel like there's some spots that are not filled in. Um, when you're doing wing liner, you want to make sure that you go slow because it could get out of hand. It could get away from you. And I would just recommend that you go slow, girl. Go slow. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I put the wing liner on this other eye and then I put my lashes on and so now I'm going to finish my face and finish the look. Now what y'all think about the eye look. I do want to put a little um, powder under my eyes. So I'm going to use this um, liner brush and I don't know what color I want to put under my eyes. Girl, figure it out. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the darkest shade. Um, I'll use that under the eye. Just to kind of give it like a little liner look. Not much, just a little bit. Ooh. Trying not to stick myself in the eye child. But, um, what are I talking about? So yeah, I probably would just be sticking to doing makeup tutorials um, online. I'm gonna take that Ignite again and go right under here. Under my eye, did y'all see that? Let me zoom in a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I took this Ignite and I'm just gonna go like right here in my waterline. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just stick to doing um, makeup for you guys. I'm gonna put a little gold in the center of my eyes. My lip is complete. Let's finish this face, honey. Okay, so now what I like to do is go in with some blush. Here lately, I've been using um, Fleeting Romance by MAC. Um, that's been like my little to go to. And I use a angled fluffy brush from Morphe. And I just twirl it in, shake it off. And I like, I like for my blush to literally sit on top of my contour. So I smile a little bit and I literally just sit it right on top of my contour. Um, hey girl. there and I am going to use some highlight um, one of my favorite highlighters is the Topaz by Becca and I love to use this Real Techniques um, highlighter brush another one that's a good one is actually I use this this is an elf highlighter brush and you can get it at Target or anywhere I think for like three or six dollars um and I like to put that right at the highest point of my cheeks okay I hope y'all can see that right at the highest point of my cheeks and I'll do the other side I love Becca eyeshadows. I, uh, eyeshadow. I love Becca highlighters. 
there's uh, I have a bunch of highlighters y'all and sometimes I can go a little overboard with the highlight but that's what I like to do I like to go overboard okay remember I told y'all that how with my brows I love to go in I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see what I'm talking about so my brows look a little dark right I like to finish my whole face and let that liner dry and then I like to go in with a spoolie and I like to um, comb that out because I feel like that's a little harsh and see now you can kind of see like the lines that I made and I'll do the other side so y'all can see I like to see how that kind of makes a difference right um i like to do that because i feel like if i don't do that you don't it just doesn't have a very natural look to it another thing that i also like to do is i like to take a little fluffy brush this is a real technique fluffy brush and i like to go over my brows and put some powder put some of that huda um setting powder in my brows i know that looks like a lot but you guys i get super oily and i feel like that helps to maintain my brows for most of the day so i like to do that go in with a little bit of powder um so i actually saw huda do this herself and i was like oh my god that makes so much sense now like girl because my brows be looking so oily and ugly and i hate that mess so I'm gonna go in with my little brush and just like cover that up because I combed it out a little bit too much. And I'm gonna do it to this side as well. And I'm going to um, put on my lip and let me zoom y'all out. I'm gonna put on my lip and yeah, set my face. Let me go ahead and set my face. So I set my face with the uh, Evian water I don't use Mac plus fix fix it spray anymore because I feel like this may sound crazy but I feel like it makes my skin way more oilier than what I want and I hate that so I just kind of hold it out here a little bit and just spray it alrighty so I like to overdraw my lips up this way get that cupid's bow And the lipstick that I'm using is by MAC and it is called Half and Half. I love this lip combo. This is Half and Half by MAC. Pretty um, neutral color. And I go right in the center with the lip color. I mostly just focus the center of my lips. And I love this lip combination. I would use MAC um, Deliciously deliciously Demure. This is a MAC glass, lip glass. Um, I would use this one just for video's sake. And I just focus it right on the center of my lips. to the outer edges 
and give that a little bit of shine. What y'all think? Hmm, what you think? All right, you guys. So I went and changed clothes a little bit and did my hair. I also went in, I wanna show y'all, I added some mascara to my lower eyelash and upper eyelash. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that. That was like a finishing touch. I have to have mascara on my lower lashes because if I don't, it ain't done. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my first makeup tutorial. I hope I didn't take too long. I know this video is super long. So if you watched it all the way through to the end, thank you so much. As time goes on, I will pick up my speed and things like that. I probably will be doing more voiceover makeup tutorials than chit chatting because girl, I can go on. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup tutorial. If you're not a part of the Mandy Glam fam, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.